Hey, how's it going guys? Magnitudex here for Gamers Beverage with another Assassin's Creed Revelations video. Now I know that you guys are probably, uh, you know, not watching any videos right now on YouTube and you guys are all busy playing that trial version of the Mediterranean Traveler map pack. So uh, in case you haven't seen it, please click the annotation up at the front to see a quick little preview that I had done of the actual you know the Jerusalem the Dyers and the actual Imperial District maps so I just did a quick little run through all of them I uh, give you a nice little preview of the maps and you know when you guys have some time check them out of course after this video now this video it's an old video you guys can see I'm at level 21 you know I'm just running through all of my older videos that just I haven't had time to uh, go through commentate do whatever you know do all that special stuff on it you know splatter a little bit of awesomeness on here but <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, that kind of sounded nasty, but <laughs> um, just kind of getting into it, you know, I've, I've talked about this specific trick a lot in my videos. You guys see me acting like an NPC, then all of a sudden, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, okay, how can I maximize the amount of points that I can get off of this person? I already got the incognito, I joined a blend group, I got the hidden, so that's, you know, that's an easy, easy, easy. 650 points right there right off the bat for me rockets me into first place and secures my lead for the rest of this match essentially you know it's very hard to catch up to somebody that essentially within the first minute or so is able to get a good thousand points so I saw this guy running up to me I saw the red arrow above his head and you know thankfully he got taken out by somebody else and I tried to follow this renegade right here I was hoping I could possibly get a focus on him but because of the long stun range on the actual, you know, game and in the maps right here, it's very, very difficult to get that focus anymore. Now, this is this is what I kind of give up on, and I've talked about this in a previous video of mine where you try not to get into blend groups with people that are, um, you know, that are not NPCs because, for one, you're going to get stunned, essentially. So I got stunned there, and just the same, that guy got stunned when I kind of walked into that group. And the reason for that is there's a there's a little bit of a lag between the actual time that uh, the person finds out that you're their uh, pursuer or slash target. I'm sorry, uh, uh, pursuer. And then the actual time between uh, your target window shows up that you actually find out who you're going after. So with that little lag in between there, it actually gives an unfair advantage to... Uh, the actual target so if you're pursuing somebody and you don't know that you're going after them the target is gonna find out way before you do uh, that you're actually you know after them they're gonna see that stun prompt and they're gonna be able to act on it quickly personally I think it's a little bit of a mess up or a goof up on Ubisoft's part uh, along with other things that Ubisoft has kinda screwed up in this game so you know uh, just take it as it is I guess play it and enjoy it a lot of people you know are boycotting this game they are complaining about this game they're saying you know there there are issues that existed in brotherhood and they persist in revelations um, and as a game manufacturer you know it, when I see those kinds of things and I think to myself I'm like okay um, you know I would understand maybe one or two glitches are returning maybe there's something that you simply cannot fix on your end unless you get better servers or you know maybe you upgrade your uh, technology or maybe you just get new game developers uh, that you know maybe have a different perspective on things and work things out a little bit differently but in a sense it almost seems like there's a lot of issues that have returned that were persistent in brotherhood and they're back in revelations um, you know I've even seen somebody tweet you know how is lag a uh, an issue for that the developer that has to deal with you know lag isn't only because you know somebody has a crappy internet connection lag also persists when you know uh, not only you know the person has a bad internet connection you know even if you look at mine I have a pretty decent internet connection you know I even hardline my PS3 at times just to you know see if it helps out or anything but when there is you know one person in the lobby that's lagging then it just destroys the game for everybody else because it just creates an unfair advantage for that person and you know when it comes down to it that's when it's actually the game developers you know uh, position on that if they are uh, allowing somebody to you know come into a lobby with you that ha that is having you know these issues like these hosting issues and you know the amount of um, you know control that they have over their internet connection I don't know if maybe they're using lag switching or they're downloading something at that specific time um, you know and it just it kind of ruins the game for everybody else and that is one 
crazy ass backflip back flip right there. You guys saw that shit. I pretty much like Tony Hawk that shit right there. All I needed was a skateboard, honestly. But um, that that's my stance on the leg. You know, I get into lots of games where there is leg, and I even play other games. And I'll be honest with you, like if I play Modern Warfare 3, um, there is some leg. There is compensation leg. If you guys know what that is, if you guys play that game, you know, whoever is host, they are actually you know responsible for. You know, hosting the game, and they are pretty much given uh, kind of. They're kind of like nerfed in a sense. You know, they will. Um, they know that the host in the past has always had the advantage, and they're trying to eliminate that advantage. And they, the thing that they did in the uh, Modern Warfare 3 is they actually put the host at such a big disadvantage that a lot of people are just dropping out of the game and just causing you know the game to pick a new host and. Uh, you know, there's developers that are trying new things. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe they'll get it right on Modern Warfare 4. We never know. I'm sure there's going to be a, you know, a fourth one, a sixth one, like a 20th version when we're all, you know, um, geriatrics and laying in uh, retirement homes and still playing the, you know, the yearly release of Assassin's Creed. But because <laughs> you know, you know how much these companies like to make money. But getting back to it, you know, a lot of people have been saying to boycott this game. And my stance on it, honestly, is if you are going to boycott the game, uh, depriving yourself Contract of playing a game for a week or two weeks, um, you know, honestly, it, it won't it won't hurt the developer. You know, they don't really make uh, any money on you uh, going into the game and playing. You know, it's not like there is any advertisement uh, in the game. So, like, you know, I'm not going to go into a game and see a Coke ad on the side of a... A building in Knights Hospital so you know they're not making any money on that um, you know it's if anything it's costing them money to you know run these servers and everything like that but they do make lots of money on the DLCs and the thing that I noticed is they had offered the Mediterranean Traveler map pack as a trial version you know I'm not sure how many days it's available I did read on one website it was three days I'm not really too sure how reliable that source is but nonetheless you know if if they are offering a DLC for a trial um, you know this is the first time that I've actually seen that happen and uh, it's it's a little bit interesting it looks like the community is starting to get its voice heard and I understand that you know um, Ubisoft is trying their best to fix things and I watch tons of videos you know I watch Esco Blaze's video on uh, on what his stance was on the boycott I watched Shenmue36's video I watched Squidish's video um, and, you know, um, honestly, I think Shenmue had to put, put it the best. Like, uh, the game came out in November. It is now January. And from November to January, we have not been able to get into team games with our friends. And that is what multiplayer is about. You know, there are team-based game modes. There's Manhunt. There's... Uh, uh, what is it? Chess capture. There's artifact assault. You know, uh, escort. These are team-based game modes that we cannot get into with our friends. And you know, as much as that, uh, you know, we want to play these games with our friends, this just sucks. Like honestly, it, it's it's bullshit and it sucks that we cannot get into a game with our friends and play as a team. You know, how many times have I tried, you know, getting into uh, a lobby with my friends and only just to get split up because the game looks at it as like, oh, there's four people here. We're gonna put two and two. And we're gonna make it into a match, and that just that's just retarded, if you ask me. So, sorry about if I'm ranting or anything like that. I know I'm a little late to this crowd, but to be honest with you guys, I've been talking about this since the beta. You know, I've I've voiced my opinion. I was silenced a little bit by a few community members, but you know, nonetheless, I've I've been telling like the whole community for a long time. I'm like, listen, this. One minute remaining. This this game has some issues, and before it actually goes to market, they have to be fixed and have to be figured out. So until you know that is done, uh, I'm gonna you know play the shit out of the trial on the DLC, get some gameplay for you guys, maybe uh, see how the maps look on Deathmatch. But as of right now, I'm not really really impressed with them. Uh, yeah, you know I love for Sienna to be back, but they do offer you know Jerusalem, which is pretty much like a Sienna. 2.0 in a sense or a Sienna during the Constantinople ACR timeline and you know it looks great not too many rooftops I love you know game gameplay where it doesn't take you to the rooftops 24 7 but that is my stance guys hopefully you know you guys enjoy this old little retro gameplay back from November um, 
and you know I do apologize I'm gonna be you know just trying to get all this gameplay that I actually have available out as, as you know as quickly as possible for you guys and you know as it kind of just my reserves dwindle down I'll start pushing out some of the new content with the ancestors uh, uh, DLC characters in uh, in the gameplays and also you know with the new maps hopefully you know in the near future maybe I'll mix it up and I'll do like a new gameplay and an old gameplay back and forth uh, so you guys if you guys get a little bit confused as to what is going on and why there are you know I'm differing in levels I'm going from prestige to like level 15 20 that's what's going on so hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay hopefully you know um, you guys don't take what I'm saying to heart too much and you, you know not, I don't start getting you know too much fanboyism going on and everything like that but these are my opinions you know I have a voice if you have your own voice please make a commentary and please if you want attach it as a you know video response and I'll attach it to this video so until later guys, I am Magnitude X, signing out for Gamers Beverage, and stay thirsty.